Hey everybody. This one's coming from Disclosed.tv even though I imagine this is absolutely ridiculous of a story. However, the people with lesser security clearances probably view this as appropriate. U.S. military pays SETI to check Kepler 22B for aliens. July 24th. My bet. July 25, 2015, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence has announced that it, that it is back in business checking out new hip, habitable exoplanets recently discovered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope to see if they have home alien civilizations. Z, not an S, people. The, the cash needed to restart SETI's efforts has come in part by the United States Air uh, Space Command who are interested in using the organization's detection instruments for space situation awareness. This is a superb opportunity for SETI observations, said Jill Tarter, the director of Center of SETI Research, in a statement issued yesterday. For the first time, we can point our telescopes at stars and know that these stars actually host planetary systems, including at the least one that begins to approximate an Earth analog in the habitable zone or habitable zone around its host star. That's the type of world that might be home to civilization capable of building radio transmitters. NASA has just announced the discovery of many exoplanets orbiting other stars by its Kepler spacecraft, including including the world Kepler 22b, described as Earth's twin by a space agency, which is 600 light years away in such a distance that it could well have liquid water on the surface and thus be home to life along earthly lines. Could it be that the Pentagon are doing sometime, something useful for once and making sure that they are that they are any potential hostile alien civilizations out there that they'll find out early on. Well, here's my situation, folks. This is what I was told. When I went into the, the uh, into an Air Force recruiting station and I asked about all this, when I was young enough to join the military and I knew about all my medical problems eventually getting me kicked out anyways, but I sat down, I was honest about it, and I started talking. And they said, well, here's the situation. The technology you've seen that Lockheed Martin has released, and he, and he referenced the president saying that, you know, stuff we're putting out is, uh, is minuscule. You've seen Star Trek. You've seen Star Wars. Our researchers, engineers, and scientists... Um, have either tried it, know whether or not it's cost productive to build or have built it and, you know, have done something with it. So all the major technologies that you can think of, tractor beams, teleportation, time travel, in one form or another it exists. Now, is it junk? Probably at some point. Could it be better? Probably at some point. Do we know of extraterrestrial life? Yes. You know, I don't, I don't care about the, uh, the ETs and, you know, the intelligent life. Just put something in front of me that looks like, you know, a tree and say this came from Mars or, you know, a fruit growing on uh, Jupiter, something like that. I mean, something like that would be worthwhile. You know, Kepler, T2B, uh, Sirius Centauri A, I think, is one that's very close. But a creature about mm, yay big in front of me that is not human or uh, earthly. And say, yes, we've known about this. And where the recruiter went is basically saying, what he was told is there's a bunch of different races they all got their own versions of the UN and they basically protect things 
uh, interstellarly whether we want the intervention or not. It's their job. Um, the ISS and various other things see these guys coming and going like clockwork. They can't report it. Because if they report it, they'll get shut down. And if their people report it, then the organization has to send somebody to actually come in and say, you know, go through their spiel with them and say, look, um, this is what I need to know. Why was this person doing this? And the reason it's so disclosed, or hasn't really been disclosed, is due to the technology of the average person on the planet. I mean, I, I know you're going to say that um, the humans now occupying America, Russia, China are more intelligent than the ones in Egypt and in Rome. But I happen to disagree. I do. I think that if we look at it, the people in Rome, the people in Egypt, probably were more self-sufficient. And I think if if extraterrestrial civilization actually wanted to make contact and be everything, they would actually look at our water systems and our electrical systems and go, God, we could kill those guys and two or three viruses in that area and that area and that area and be done. You know, first thing I'm going to do when I get my own place, cut myself off from the electric grid. There's a lot of good technologies out there, not just solar. Uh, somebody actually, who did I know that did this? Somebody took a solar panel, and th this is a big one that goes on your house. Or, uh, well, th this is what happened. Eventually, somebody that I know got one installed, got the technology installed. And then they basically bought an extra panel. They rigged um, infrared sensors, I think is what it is, so that they could actually take in the, the infrared light. And I think they put a Germanic coating, you know, germanium, the thing we use for thermal imaging. And they put a Germanic coating on the actual uh, panel. Now, I'm sure they rewired it and did everything possible to switch out all the bad equipment and everything. There's the same friend I have that has a uh, fiber optic cable running through his entire house um, instead of the regular copper wiring. And so this person that I know, that, and this, this, was, this was about a year or two before the big solar hype. So this person not only has solar panels now, but his solar panels can pick up infrared light, which means when it's dark out, he still has power. Because, you know, the moonlight and the stars and everything come down. and So that's what I know. I know if you rig it, it's possible. I think he bought a system and then he paid a little extra to actually ditch the service that he was using so that he could actually go off the grid completely. Because a lot of those places are pretty much like the power companies. You know, they have contracts from the government to install this stuff and then they basically sit on your line and leave it open to Joe Blow, government man, to actually sit there and do stuff on your system. Where if you go rig it to where they can't, well, they, they always can at some point. But, you know, it just makes it harder for them. Dig a big well for the water, move it through a, you know, system that takes all the funkiness out of it, and there you go. You're good. Move it to a collection uh, pump. That holds, I don't know, 40, 80 gallons, something like that. That's my kitty. Uh, he's not doing anything. He's like himself right now. So, anyways, 
that's the story in Kepler. SETI uh, has been assigned by the Air Force Space Command to investigate uh, Kepler 22B, which I'm not even sure I know what system that's in. I had to look that up. All right, guys, peace out. Sorry for the long for the long video.